This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with a GE Laundry Center washer and dryer. And the washing machine is not spinning properly. The whole basket seems to be off kilter. So we're going to unplug it or turn off the breaker so there's no power going to it. And we're going to take off this front panel. To do that there's some clips that we have to disconnect. And we're also going to take off this upper panel. So we'll take out a couple of Phillips head screws. This is the panel right underneath the dryer. We'll just pull that off. And then to get the front panel off, we're going to put in a screwdriver to push in on the clip. And I'll put a screwdriver on the side to give me a little leverage. And that pops it out. I'll do the same thing on the left side. So I'll push in a screwdriver against the clip. And then I can pull the bottom. I'll pull the front plate out and it's just connected. There's a little clips at the top. It's just connected with a couple of clips at the bottom that I lift up off of those clips. And then I have good access to the parts that have failed. I also want to take off the top panel. And to do that, just a couple of screws we gotta take out. We gotta remove also the lid lock. So I'm gonna take out these two Phillips head screws that are holding in the lid lock. They're just really short Phillips head screws. And there's also a lid switch. It's a white thing behind it. And to remove that, what we have to do is reach in from underneath and press in against this tab. I'm pressing with my index finger. And at the same time, from the top, we're going to pry it up. So the, the back part of it's going to come out first. So we're going to pry that up with a standard head screwdriver. And then we'll pull it out toward the back of the washer. That'll undo the front tab. And the one that really locks it in is the back tab. So you have to push in on that to make that let go. And then you can lift up the back and then the front will slide out. And we're gonna push that down into the machine. And then we have to take off these two quarter inch bolts in the front. And then we can lift off the top panel. So what happened with this washing machine is the people used use it to wash something too heavy like bathroom mats or blankets and it just knocked it off of its suspension off of its supports. So this is a suspension rod and I'm gonna just pull it out here at the bottom it'll just slip out. This is what it looks like. It's got a little shock absorber at the bottom at the top, it's supposed to be connected to this thing, so we're going to reconnect that. We're going to push it up through, and then we're going to turn it 90 degrees, and you'll see when you look closely that it'll sit back down and lock into place. If you sit it down the wrong way, it won't, it won't stay up. We want this thing to stay up to hold up the top of it. And we're going to lift up the tub, and we're going to Bring it up enough so we can slide that rod back in to that little groove. It actually slides in there really easy. And that holds it up. But with enough um, resistance from a, a blanket or a bathroom mat, it knocks it off of these supports. So also the left one came off. So we're going to do the same thing. We take out the suspension rod, just pull it out, and then we're going to reconnect it at the top. So I'm going to push it up through the hole and push it through the top support and then I'll turn it 90 degrees so it sits back down and locks into place. And then I'll bring the whole thing back down into that support hole. There we go. And then I'm going to lift up on the tub. I'm going to make sure I feed, feed this rod in correctly so it's not in the way of the pressure tube. And then I'm going to lift up on the tub and just slide that little shock back into place. Slide it in that groove, it locks in. And then now the spin basket can float properly and it won't transfer any shock into the cabinet. So back to normal. Some of these have little rubber straps that support it, but this model doesn't. It's just being held in by these four shocks, two in the front and two in the back, and these suspension rods. So I'm just checking all the components to see if anything got damaged when it fell. Everything looks good. 
I want to check in underneath it too to make sure the motor components are okay. Find a few uh, extra socks laying there. And that's due to the machine being overloaded. And that makes sure this pulley can spin. But when they get overloaded, that's when they also can fall off of their suspension. So we only want to load these up to the top of the spin basket, but no, no further up. And we only want to use it to wash sheets and towels and clothing, but no blankets, no bathroom mats. So everything looks good. I'm just, just checking to make sure everything's in place and that the lid lock is okay. And I'll put the top panel back in. And then it just sits down and there's a couple of screws that hold it in in the front. I have to reattach the lid switch and the lid lock. So I'll push the lid switch back up through and then I'll push the front of it toward me, toward the front of the washer so, it's, so it locks in. And once I have that, then I can push the back of it down until it clicks. And that's all back. And then the lid lock needs the two Phillips head screws to be put back in. So I just spin those back in Hold that. Now I'll put the two quarter inch screws back in to hold down the front. Spin those in. So in this model, this is a pretty common occurrence for these things that jump off of their suspension rods, but pretty easy to put it back on. So get the two screws in. We're gonna put the bottom panel back on its clips and then just push in, it'll lock into place. That's really easy. Give it a little thud and we'll put in our panel underneath the dryer. A couple of Phillips head screws hold that in. Put that one in. And now we're just testing it, making sure it's doing okay. So pretty easy repair. Just a word of warning again, best not to put blankets and stuff in these machines. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe when you get a chance.